My daughter Ruby's coming down for a couple of days. I'm looking forward to seeing her. Oh, she's the opposite to Charlie. Quiet, level-headed, very easy going. Nothing to worry about. It's disgusting. Just ignore them then. Come on. I don't know. I see this. Do you two really think this is appropriate behaviour for a public place? Charles, good to see you, sis. Why would you bring Pat here? Is it to annoy Dad or me? Look, not everything I do is about you or him. He's a nice guy. We have fun. No, that's not a concept you're familiar with. Don't try and turn this back at me. You're the one that turned up here with this. <sighs> what does he do anyway? So, have you known my daughter long? Uh, a few months, not too long. I met her at school. I'm the maintenance guy. You okay there, Ross? What is wrong with you? You don't just get with the first guy that looks at you. What is that school teaching you? Save your hostilities for this morag lady. Actually, I've decided to reserve judgment till I hear her out. Whatever. I don't need your help. I'll handle the woman myself. Can't be that hard. Yeah, that's what you think. Oh, okay. I see how it is. You sit here on your high horse and accuse me of being easy, yet in the five minutes you've been here, you've already managed to hook up with the closest guy. No, I haven't. And what's more, you're 15. It's not even close to the same thing. You shouldn't be sleeping with anyone. Yeah, I'm not. I wanted to, but Pat doesn't think I'm ready. How's it going, guys? It's all good. Ross and I were just getting acquainted. Picture that Rubes is from a family of cops, hey? No, probably not. Haven't met many cops before, you know, as, as people. Really? So in what capacity have you met them? You haven't said anything about school, Ruby. Uh, how's it going? Um, yeah, great, since I hooked up with Pat. Look, I don't know why you waste your money sending me there. I'm in school, school. Same rules, same loser kids. It doesn't matter which one you go to. Don't worry, though, Ross. I've been keeping a good eye on it. Yes, I can see that. Look, as much fun as this all is, I've got to get to work at some point before my shift's over. Yeah, Pat and I have got stuff to do, too. Oh, Ruby, call me later. You can stay with me at the Sands? No, it's fine, Dad. I'm going to stick with Pat. Yeah, I've got a double swag. She's used to it. Thanks, though. Thanks, Daddy. I'll see you later. Why didn't you tell me about this delinquent she's with? I didn't know. If you had, I could have done something about it. Dad, I didn't know. Well, he's here now, so we have to live with it. You're the one that shipped her off to boarding school in the first place. You can't just turn around now and blame me for the way she turned out. Did, did you hear what he said? My little girl's in a double swag. So much for looking out for your sister. Don't get mad at me because you screwed up. If this is anyone's fault, it's yours. And he thought Charlie was going to bust him, but instead, you know what happened? Do I look like a mind reader? The girl turned out to be her sister. Wait a second. You wanted them to get busted for kissing, didn't you? Hey, what is the problem? Because I know for a fact that kissing is something that you like. Wait. <laughs> look, I, I don't mind what people do. It's their choice. But to me, kissing's more of a personal thing. It's more of a private thing. It's kind of sweet. Hey, you again. It's becoming a habit. Don't you start. Okay, is it uh, just me specifically, or are you constantly in a bad mood? Look, I'm not like this all the time, all right? You've just caught me on a day from hell. My little sister just arrived with her loser boyfriend, who she handpicked from the school cleaning staff. Then my father decides to blame me for everything, because, as always, he doesn't want to take any responsibility for anything, even though it was him who caused it all in the first place. And then I keep bumping into you, and I have no idea what to say to you after... I acted like such a fool the other night and threw myself at you. And and you keep being so nice, it's killing me. And to top it all off, I've got to do all Jack's paperwork because he had to take Martha to the hospital. And that's going to Martha's take... in hospital? Why? I don't know. Jack rang first thing and asked me to cover for him. He didn't say what was wrong with her. Uh, I, I need to be somewhere. I'll see you later. See, see, this is what I mean. This is the two I was telling you about. I thought you said she was cute. I think she is. I'll sort these two out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you guys always feel the need to slobber all over each other? What's it to you? Jealous? Look, I don't know where you two are from, but around here, if you feel the need to get a hot and heavy, do everyone a favour and get a room. Why do you care what we do? No one else wants to see you two going at it. Look, don't get angry at us just because your boyfriend won't go near you. He's not my boyfriend. <laughs> That's good, because I didn't want to be the one to tell you that he's way out of your league. Excuse me? Well, look at him, and then look at you. 
And you don't even come close, honey. Well, you certainly sorted her out. <laughs> you know, I don't really care what the locals think. I like public displays of affection, and after a shot like that, you've earned one. What? Are you sure you're really into me? I mean, I know you like me a lot, but sometimes it just feels like... Well, I know you enjoy stirring people, and you use me to do it. I mean, I, you saw how your dad and your sister react. Stop! Just stop, okay? Look, I love you. I would never use you like that. Never. I love you too. That's good timing. Moment of truth. I hope you know what you're doing. Yes, yeah, so do I. <clears throat> hey, what's up? You must have said it was important. Thanks for coming. You'll only take a minute. Has something happened? You could say that. Um, I didn't want to tell you this over the phone. I am... Um... Well, whatever it is, just say it. I left school. 